Hello and welcome back everyone, my name is Brutus and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to get the starter crates or the special crates in Stranded Deep. Before we get started make sure to leave a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video, if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe as it's free to do and you can always unsubscribe at any time. With that being said let's get straight into the video. Okay. So, I've been getting this question a lot on my YouTube channel, how do you get the special grades or where do you get the special grades, I'm going to tell you how to enable, I'm going to show you how to enable it and also how to get them. Okay, so for the video I'm going to play online, so I'm just going to go into an online, so you guys can see this is an actual uh, latest update feature, I did report the bugs, hopefully they'll fix it, because a lot of people have been complaining about the bugs. Okay, now as you guys can see left bottom there is day 89 my current spot one if i say host and i say new game it's going to tell me that will overwrite the save it's not going to you're just going to use the map from that save okay now what i'm going to do here is it's this my create session now you get your gamer tag your visibility and your region you just set that up and you press x now it says new game creating session so just give it time to load and yeah, it should not take too long, and you can easily just follow the steps from after this. Okay, <coughs> this is the screen you'll get now. Left top is host game, it'll show your region ZA, your game tag right top, your character. Now you can set your difficulty to normal or hard, I'm going to put normal, male or female genders. Your world is an existing, uh, then you have permadeath, which I'm not going to put on, you have your wildlife, then you have the option for starting crates. It's the last option on this, I don't know if it's the same on Xbox, but this is on PlayStation 4. And you can see they're starting crates, you need to put them on on. Now as soon as you've done that, you just press X and say start online game alone. Yes, for the sake of this video, I'll do it alone. I'm not that bad at survival games, so I'll 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 survive at least seven days without dying. <laughs> okay, now you just wait for the plane crash to occur, and yeah, so hopefully it doesn't take too long because I've seen this this thing has been taking quite some time to do or to happen. There we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm on gone. Okay, so now you just swim out of this uh, wreckage before you drown. Get up the raft, and uh, that is one of the objectives that you have. You need to put up the tutorial as well. So yeah, now just wait for it to load. It might take some time, um, but to me it doesn't take too long to load. It's just letting the starting zone, etc. Um, so I'll just give it time to load. And then I'll show you guys where to get the crates. I've shown you how to enable it. Now I'm going to show you where to get it. Okay. So now that it's, you always start on your raft. Which is weird. For some reason it starts on the side. Okay. Whenever you start you'll just see right underneath you. <laughs> there is a standard crate. And underneath him another standard crate. Now you can pick these things up. They are very very good to use. Um, you can pull the raft out. This is actually a custom island. As you guys will see, there's no trees, no bushes, nothing. It's just a massive open map. Okay, so what we do now is you get to a flat, flat surface, I'll say, and you drop this crate. Now, this crate has a lot of good features. The first one gives you a, um, it's a carbon spear gun. Then you get your rubber duck, and you get four carbon spears, or not carbon spears, but oh, it is carbon arrows. So you just take that. And the good thing about this crate is you have 10 slots inside each, no it's 9, sorry, you have 9 slots in each one of them, no it's 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oh it's 8, sorry, you have 8 slots in each one, that is what the first one gives you, the second one will give you a machete, a travel flashlight and also some screen. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can use this stuff now, whenever you go to your machete, this is actually a weak weapon as it does take a decent amount of time to chop down a tree. I think it's equal to it's either the stone tool or the refined knife. 
Um, but as you can see, it takes a long time to harvest the tree. A coconut is also to hit before it like opens up. Okay, thought that we can drop. Okay, the rubber ducky has no use in the game. It's just an awesome rubber duck. Okay, now what we do is sunblock. You have five doses of this, and it's fifty sunblock. Just what you need. Just R2, he will consume it. <laughs> and you do have four uses left after the first dose. There we go. As you can see, it's just on the ground there. Good texture. Okay, now you get the flashlight. It's just the same as the normal flashlight that you find in the game, like in the shipwrecks and stuff, but this one is different in graphics. Okay, now you get to this spear gun. Now, I haven't really used this one. Um, only in some of my tutorial videos, uh, I have um, like shown you guys the crates as it helped make collecting a lot easier. Um, but let's see if we can actually kill a shark with this. I wonder when we'll be able to kill this uh, grouper fish. I don't know, we'll see. A shark approaching. <gasps> nope. Let's see if I search the wrecks. They usually come out whenever you search the wrecks. You get your console. Nope. Nothing in it. Wow. What a waste of time. Oh, there's a jerry can. That's nice. Oh, he's in the locker. Yeah, if there's like a, a boar or something on the island, I don't know if you can use this spear gun on them. I guess we'll just have to find out. Oh, well, let's see. I don't think there is any. Um, and I'm pretty sure the bolt is retri retrievable. Shoot, it's exactly the same as the one you can craft. Just seems to be better. Hopefully, it's strong because if we check the durability, no, it's invincible. Shoots arrow high with high accuracy. That's good. That's good to know. We can kill a crap with this. If I can actually. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yes, you can kill multiple types of animals with this. Don't know if you'll be able to kill one of this fish. Oh, you have to aim at the sheet as well. Nope. I missed it. And now it's gone. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get a shot. It can take like two or three tries. If I don't get a shot, I'm going to end the video then. But that'll be it for this video. If you guys want to click off, you're more than welcome. Make sure to subscribe for more. And like the video if you did like it. I know this poisonous fish you can kill as well. This lion fish, let's see if I can shoot it with it. Okay, and apparently no sharks is coming out. See, I have one bullet left or arrow. Nope, you can't ki kill fish with it. Well, I'm pretty sure you, you'll be able to kill a shark with it. If you guys uh, figure that out, let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, that'll be it for this video. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure to, sub make sure to subscribe. And if you want to know how to get yourself a custom island like this, which is good to build on, um... Tell me in the comment section and I'll make a video on that. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.